How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video we have a um, LG G7 here, and we're going to show you a couple cool tricks. The first thing we got to show you how to do is how to get this device booted into Qualcomm uh, mode. Okay, so to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your USB cable and plug this into your computer um, so that's good to go. From here, um, you're going to just hold volume um, down and power. And you're going to keep holding the the, the uh, volume up button. Once it reboots, you're going to just start spamming the volume up button. So we'll spam it. And I'm waiting to see if it shows up. And it's not doing that yet. So we're going to just keep letting it reboot and keep spamming until it shows up in my device manager on my computer. And there you go. It is in um, Qualcomm mode right now. And we'll go to my computer and we're going to show you um, so we, we figured out how to get into Qualcomm mode just by spamming it, which is pretty cool. Um, now we're going to show you how to remove FRP on this device um, using Octoplus Box uh, J, JTAG Pro Tool. Okay, so let's go over to my computer. All right, guys, here you go on the computer. So what you're going to want to do is if you come down here to your home button, you can right click it and you can go to device managers uh, right here. And we're going to open this bad boy up. And if you go under COM ports, here's where I said it connects here in Qualcomm mode or QD loader mode, which is uh, 98908, uh, right? And there's my COM port, okay? So this is what you need the device to be connected as. Um, and obviously, you're going to need Qualcomm drivers installed and so on and so forth, okay? Um, so from here, we're going to open up Octopus Pro um, JTAG software. And I do have the box and mine's all activated and all that. You'll need all those things done. You know, it's a pretty pricey tool. It's about $300, um, but it does give you access to a lot of cool um, files, all right? So from here, what you're gonna wanna do to get this process done is you're gonna wanna come right here, and you're gonna wanna go to Install uh, Custom Models, okay? And then I think I have mine in Downloads. Let's go see, yeah. And then you're gonna take this file right here, which we're gonna link below the video, and you're gonna click Open, okay? And it says that um, it's successfully installed. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come back to USB tab. You're going to be in USB tab up here. We're going to select LG as our brand. And then we're going to select, these are all other models I have in here. We're going to select this one, the one we just installed. Okay. And then the device is still in uh, bulk mode, right? So should be good in Qualcomm mode. We can show you that. Yep, still connected over here. So basically from here, you're going to hit connect. And it's going to go ahead and send the loader to the device and see if it can communicate over uh, Qualcomm's communication or QD loader. And then it's going to give you a list of all the partitions and partition tables, which then allows us to do some pretty magical things with it. So this is a pretty powerful tool. Um, you can actually do this with Q QPST as well. It's just that this file is formatted specifically in um, Octoplus Box's stuff, which is this dot uh, .srf. So we kind of have to use it here unless we have something to decipher that uh, file in a different format. So that's why I'm using this. This file was given to me by one of our members here at Phone Lab. Uh, very big shout out to him. Thanks for that. And he's like, you got to make this video so our members can see this and uh, learn how to do it. So it's really not hard once you have this tool. Um, and the good, cool thing about this is this does work for the uh, G6, G7, V30, V35, and V40. And you can do um, bootloader unlocks and FRP removal. Okay? P pretty, pretty insane. So um, the easiest way to, to utilize this is with the smart repair option. But something I just want to point out here to show you how this is done, just so you understand it. So you can see there's a ton of partitions up here um, that you can see block counts and different things like that. Um, but the interesting thing is right here is physical partition one. So you're paying attention to that. That's where these things are physically located. But if you come all the way down here to the end, the partition we're really messing with is this one. And if you note, it's physical partition six. Its block count is right here, right? And its actual size, beginning and end, are right there. Okay, and you'll you'll pay attention to those as we see the next part. So from here, we're going to just go into smart repair. All right, and 
Um, it really doesn't matter. We can, we'll do this one. It's, they're the same file. All right, and then you may not have that choice if you've only installed it once. I installed it with two different names. Um, so you got this right here. You don't have to worry about this stuff. You can hit next. And right here is where you have the options, okay? So if you just want to remove FRP off this device, you only check FRP and you do the repair. Now the thing to point out here, again, so if you look at it, physical partition is six, right? We said that earlier, right? Right there, number six, okay? Start is 6,000. There's our 6,000 right there. And our length is uh, 200,000, and there's that number right there. And then our size, you can see that, and there's that number there, okay? That's exactly what's happening here is they've got, a, a, they've got the physical address, and they're going to just write that physical address. So that's pretty cool. So that's what we're going to do here with, with FRP. Now, the um, a, ABL1 and ABL2 will do bootloader unlock. If you flash all three of them, you will remove FRP and bootloader unlock your device. Pretty sweet, right? We're just going to do this one so I can show it to you. So we're going to say repair. And it's going to go through repair. And down here you can see smart repair was successfully completed and the device has disconnected. So from here, that's it. If you um, hold down volume down and power um, for 10 to 15 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, it will reboot out of Qualcomm mode. And it should uh, boot up into the device. So you can see over here on my device manager that the device just disconnected and it is currently rebooting back up. That is the process. So if you're looking for bootloader unlock or um, FRP on any of those, what, like five devices for LG, this is how you do it, okay? If you have hard brick devices, you can come in here and you can download the proper um, uh, files for those and you can do things with those too. So this thing, this tool is very, very powerful. Um, and it basically boils down to getting the device in Qualcomm mode, uh, going ahead and getting uh, the right QD loader file, which would be over here somewhere if, if they have them on the site. And just while we're in here, I'll just show you this. So if you come into um, Welcome and you go to Download Mo Models and Files, what it's going to do is it's going to come in here and it's going to look at Octoplus Box's file repository. Okay. So and then what you can do is you can look through all of their files and see if they have a unbrick, basically Qualcomm mode file for the device that you have or not. Um, and if they do, then you can download it. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty sweet. I know this tool does a lot more. We're going to get into more videos on um, Octoblus, uh, Octoblus JTAG Pro Box here. But I just want to show you um, the kind of options you'll have in here once you dig into it, once it communicates with the server. Yeah, my device is fully booted up, and uh, FRP is now removed off of it, which is it's pretty awesome. They're, they're like legitly just... just communicating to that uh, device and removing FRP or rewriting it with a different file. So um, so if we go to like, for example, we go to LG, you know, we want to go down here and find something, you know, like an LS996, right? So you'd click on that. Here's the um, couple files you're going to need for that specific device. And then you hit download and they will download those files for the device. You'll see them building along the bottom. Okay. That, that's legitly the process of using it and um, it's pretty pretty cool pretty easy pretty simple then you when you instead of selecting that v40 if you have this device you'd select this file from the menu and you would be rocking it so let's actually let's just cancel that close this out and I can just show you that so yeah you would you just come in here you would pick LG again you know you'd pick your file and then you'd uh, come over here to EM, EMMC and hit connect. And then you'll have options to use smart repair tool to do different things. Or you can do partition manager or any of these other tools down here. Um, you can even write in the physical address if you know it and put those in here and actually do it that way. There's, there's many, many options with this tool. And I'm still learning some of them. You can even do pinouts, which is pretty, pretty crazy. So you can use the actual the JTAG option over here. If I can get it to go, custom, there we go, JTAG, and then you can do pinouts, and you can physically solder things to boards, and do communication with them that way as well. It's pretty cool. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hope you like it, 
FRP on these later uh, newer LG devices. I'm hoping that there's an LG G8 file that gets pushed out so that we can actually do the same with those. But stay tuned for more videos, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.